Hello girls, it's Tuesday and the five nerds and writers are made of awesome. Yes, you saw that right. That was John Green giving a shout out to the five nerds and writers. Mission accomplished. So earlier tonight I got to go to the John Green reading um, at Borders in LaGrange, Illinois, which is the northern LaGrange. It's actually two. You guys remember me complaining about this when I was going to go see Michelle Zink. And yeah, it was really awesome. He spoke for a while, just like a lecture on the world. So there are these two fish, uh, like teenage level fish, small fish, swimming, swimming along, and they pass by an older fish. And the older fish says, morning boys, how's the water? And the two fish just kind of keep swimming. And then after a little while, one of the little fish says to the other little fish, what the heck is water? You know, because uh, fish don't know what water is. Um, it's all they've been in. It's like if we had a word for what we're in, and some old person was describing the world that way, and uh, we were like, what the heck is, let's make up a word for it. Is that the sploosh, thank you. Um, <laughs> so if someone is like, morning boys, how's the sploosh? And then we all, we, like, we, you and I were like walking past, and we were like, what the heck is that guy's problem? What is sploosh? This is water, uh, and to the fish, the water is water, and you don't know that it's water unless you're paying attention. Uh, I would submit to you that the most important thing that books can do, and the thing that I try to do in my books, is, uh, is to help you and me think about what to think about. Uh, not how to think, not whether to think, but what to think about. read a little bit from Looking for Alaska, um, the part where Pudge first takes a smoke and he's talking to Alaska. And I'll put that up in its entirety later, but for right now, this is my favorite part of that. She exhaled and read to me. He, that's Simone Bolivar, was shaken by the overwhelming revelation that the headlong race between his misfortunes and his dreams was at that moment reaching the finish line. The rest was darkness. Damn it, he sighed. How will I ever get out of this labyrinth? I knew great last words when I heard them, and I made a mental note to get a hold of the biography of this Bolivar fellow. Beautiful last words, but I didn't quite understand. So what's the labyrinth? I asked her, her mouth close enough to me that I could feel her breath warmer than the air. She said, that's the mystery, isn't it? Is the labyrinth living or dying? Which is Bolivar trying to escape, the world or the end of it? Uh, I think books are very good at helping us think about what to think about. I think that they're very bad at modeling behavior or like telling us how to act, right? Okay, that part right there was really, really interesting. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in my post and I will go more in detail in my next video because I wanna keep this short. But my teacher and I would be all over that in relation to our showing versus telling narrator project that we're working on right now. And I think I need to tell Dr. D about this tomorrow and we're gonna pretty much lit geek over it and that's what I love about Dr. D is that even though he's like a 70 something he gets all excited about these things so for the first like year that we were doing it half the comments on our videos were who the F is Hank or who the F is John or why why does this guy think my name is Hank <laughs> Um, so I started answering that question randomly, like the first one was Hank is a massive incandescent gas responsible for all life on Earth. Um, so I think I'll stick with that one. Also at the events, I got to meet Serena Mina, who is just an awesome nerd fighter, and you probably know her name because I knew her name before, and I had never actually met her, and I got to meet her. And that was really cool, and we hung out most of the nights, and she's great, and she's already following us, actually. So, hello, Serena Mina. Hello from Nerd Fantastic, five nerds some writers. John, thank you so much for doing the reading, for being awesome, and for setting up the whole nerd fighting community, because that's what really brought the five nerds and writers together. Is we were mutual nerd fighters, and that's how we got to know each other. And this project would be nothing if it weren't for you. And thank you also for hanging out with us after the signing. That was really awesome of you and it was great talking to you and again thank you i gotta keep this video short and i already put my post so that i wouldn't get punished 
and now the video goes with it so it makes sense. And Jenny, I will see you tomorrow, which is technically today, because it's already past midnight for the video. Um, Gabby, have fun in Guatemala. I'm going to miss you so much. Hillary, feel better. And Tony, I love you. That's all. Bye-bye. I like Twilight, uh, which I don't know if you say you've read them. You probably, there are some dudes here who probably haven't read them. Twilight, there are these books about uh, this vampire named Edward Cullen and this girl named Bella. I like Twilight. I really do. I don't read Twilight and want to, um, you know, like, date a vampire who drives an Aston Martin. 